Paper is an important part of our everyday lives. We use it for communicating, connecting and having fun with each other. But how is paper actually made? How do we turn wood into sheets of paper for our use? We plant over 150 million trees in our plantations every year before they're transported to our mills to be turned into paper. Paper making actually involves various processes to turn that wood log into our everyday paper products. However, there are three key steps to the process of paper making. One, pulping. Two, paper making. Three, finishing. To kickstart the pulping process, the logs are debarked. The bark has to be stripped from the logs since it cannot be used in paper making. The water used is filtered on the spot and reused for other logs, reducing the amount of water wastage. Together with other byproducts of the manufacturing process, they are used to generate electricity to power up the mills and nearby towns. The debark logs are then chipped into small pieces before undergoing a process called chemical pulping. This process breaks down a chemical called lignin. And the result is pulp. Pulp is like a thicker, less refined version of paper. After being meshed, screened and dried, they can be used to make high volume commodity printing products like newsprint and magazine paper. But to be turned into paper, the pulp needs a little bit more work. It is pumped into a large paper making machine which stretches almost four times the length of an Olympic sized swimming pool and stands as high as a three story building. Starting at the first section called the head box, the pulp mass is squirted through a horizontal slit over a moving wire mesh to remove excess water. Here, the fibres begin to spread out and take the form of a thin sheet, thus giving this part of the process its name, sheet formation. Moving at almost 90 kilometres an hour, the thin mats are fed into the press section where up to 50% of the water content is squeezed out. Up to 90% of water in this entire manufacturing process is also recycled. Things then start heating up as the sheets are dried at above 100 degrees Celsius over a series of cast iron cylinders. But the journey for premium quality paper doesn't end there. A film of chemicals is applied to the surface of the dried paper to improve the properties of the paper before being wound onto 8.5 metre wide jumbo reels. But of course, most of our printers can't print on paper of those dimensions, so the jumbo reels have to be cut up into smaller pieces. These smaller sheets of paper are then further processed before being wrapped and packed into our familiar Paper One packaging before being stacked into cartons and shipped worldwide, delivered to your doorstep, ready to be the launchpad of your next masterpiece.